Love your hair, May. Look, May. Oh, what did you do to her? I didn't do anything. It's your you kid. up in her business, just like we're all going to be up in yours. Oh, yeah. Since I told my family about the trip, they've been very uh, against it and really want me to not go. Uh, dear God, we ask that you bless this food that we don't just protect Nicole on her trip to Morocco and that this guy isn't in it for whatever he's in it for, that he actually likes her and loves her and that he's going to take care of her and she's... All right, so basically what we're watching is um, this lady. I think she met him on a dating app or something. Uh, this dude lives, like, I don't know how far away. Some far away, but uh, they're like, oh, we're in love, whoa, we're going to get married and stuff. I'm gonna move up there and I'm gonna see him and stuff like that. And it, this is 90 Day Fiance. So, um, ooh, things are gonna go bad probably. Amen. 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 So, my parents are divorced, but they're both remarried, and I actually have two great step parents that are both opinionated. But that just means that, you know, I actually have two step parents who really care about me. Hey, you want a hot dog? Cause Zach, I don't know. can I have a burger with the cheddar cheese on it? I don't know if they have pork in Morocco. <laughs> what? Did you do research? On Morocco? No. I have a lot of pickpocketing, you know. It's like right up there in the top. Well, you know, I'm just going to say, Moro, um, I have no clue where this place is. I'm not that smart. I'm not good at, like, fucking um, maps and shit. So I have no clue where this place is. So I know nothing about it. Sorry about this. So I'm going to be stupid during this video. Top for uh, human trafficking. Mm -hmm. She's going to be in Morocco for five weeks. I'm worried about how safe she's going to be. There's warnings to American tourists and travelers in that part of the world. And it's a Muslim country. So? Now, what does that have to do with anything, Paul? Huh? Paul? Huh? You know, that there's a sort of in law, and, but, like, I honestly, I don't know much, but the Muslim faith is, like, an entire other thing, and it, it doesn't have to be related with, like, terrorist and crap, like, dude, what, just, why? Just because, like, I, I think the Saudi in law was Muslim, but... Uh, just because he was it doesn't mean they are bad people. It's just that one dick big, dick big, dick bag. You're joining two families together across continents. Two completely different families. Any family is gonna be two completely different families. Even if you're from the same religion. Like she said, yeah, that was kind of dumb, dude. Obviously, two different families coming together are obviously different. Well. Unless if you live in Alabama. Yeah. Not this kind of different, though. This is like... What kind of different? You're switching religions? completely different nationalities and different religions. work ethics and religions and Language. everything is different. Worst case scenario is she comes back in a body bag. Do you want to go with the best one? Uh, no, worst case scenario, she doesn't come back at all. <laughs> no body bag, no nothing. Customs are so different there, Nicole. You, you don't, you're not familiar with a lot of the you... things that they do or don't do or... So what does that mean? I don't know. I mean, kids have gone over to other countries and wound up getting caned because they did something wrong, you know. I'm stuck sure in jail I will make sure they... nothing will happen to me. Yeah, okay. Dude, the concern in her voice just like, yeah, okay. Ooh, that that's not good. I believe Nicole has decided to rush into this. I feel like there's a disconnect somewhere where common sense has been overridden by, you know, the desire to be in love, and that part worries me. There are monsters out there. Is it worth it? Is is trying to find out if this guy I wouldn't be going if, it wasn't if worth this it. guy is the love of your life? Trying to find out if is it worth it? No, I don't think it is, honey. If he's is it worth it? To be honest, probably not. Um, like. You, you don't know where you're going. You don't know, like, really anything about the area or anything like that. Like, you, you guys don't, you, you guys speak, like, different languages and stuff like that. Like, I doubt. I doubt it. So, um, I, I, I don't get why you want to go. Like, you know. For the love of my life, it's not worth it trying to find out. 
not if what his intentions are are wrong. Quite frankly, Nicole's a beautiful girl, but she's not, you know, the most beautiful girl out there. And as in, it looks like he's a very handsome man. And it Bruh. Bruh, this dude's absolutely ripped, dude. It's difficult to understand with this variety of women on the internet. Why, Nicole? So that was the first video. Um, that was the first video of, uh, that we're going to watch. And we're going to go to the next one. I found an entire playlist of this. Crap, so. Hey. Hi. Soon I'll be on the plane. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm and excited. I'll take good care of my baby. All right. Say bye bye. Okay. I'm trusting you. See you later. Bye. Yeah, thanks. Love you. I'm trusting you. That's the weird thing. Mom's are just like, oh, I'm trusting you and stuff. Like, she's an adult. She can do whatever she wants, okay? You, you have no say in what she does anymore. She's an adult. She can do what she wants. I love you, too. See you. See ya. Did that sound real sincere to you, Nicole? Yes, I mean, it did. Do my parents trust my judgment? Probably not. <laughs> I mean... To be honest, I'm kind of siding with the parents on this one. Like, you know, kind of... Uh, like, you're going, like, to an entire other continent. For this dude that you met online? Um... Mm, it's kind of sus, bro. Not that I make always bad choices, but... Can't say I always make the smartest decisions. All right, look. You promised me you'd come home. Of course, May's here. And you promised she'll take. Dude, of course she's gonna come home. It's not like she's gonna die there. Like, even if like I, I doubt she would die there anyways, dude. Like, like, dude, come on. If it was such a dangerous place, why would they have planes there or people there or something like that, you know? Take care of yourself? Yes, Mom. All right, okay. promise, promise. Yes. I love you. I love, I love you, you too. <laughs> I love you, Nicole. I love you too. Be careful. Well. <laughs> I can't wait to just like see him and like have our first kiss. That moment of amazingness. <laughs> amazingness. I don't think that's a word. I think Nicole is very naive. I think she's she has no idea what she could be getting into. I just wish she was more realistic. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we'll look at like one more video whenever she gets there, and that's it for this video. Nicole, she's my fiance. We've been waiting for a long time to meet and be together, so that's why she come to Morocco. And uh, you know, I'm really excited, and I can't wait to go to the airport to bring her from there. And yeah, I'm just excited. So let's go. Yeah. My friend Hamza, he's coming because he's my best friend, so he wants also to meet her. I'm sure What you feel now? How you feel now? You know, I just worry that maybe she will not like Morocco, you know. No, I have like some on. fear, you know. No, is that To be honest, I'm looking at this picture. Looks like an actual nice place. Like it, it the weather's kinda now it may be hot there, maybe cold there. I don't know. But like I prefer cold weather. If it was kinda like that fall chilly weather, that that looks great, dude. That just looks Epic. I, I would live there. That looks, that looks radical. Talk about Marrakesh, and Marrakesh is a nice place. Like what his friend said, yeah, it, it, it's a nice place. It looks beautiful. I love Morocco. So I hope that she could get my culture. 
Finally we're here. Yeah. Now I feel like everything is like real, you know? I'm just getting nervous a little bit. We've never met. I worry if she's taller than me or shorter, I don't know. So I hope she's like I I was thinking, you know. I hope so. <laughs> what in the world did he just say? I have no clue what he just said. He was like, it's like that one video of that one kid and he's like, have you ever had a dream to where the, he do did uh yeah, it's like that. Being alone in a foreign country, you know, that's scary. But I know he's on the other side, and I'm just like looking at every crack to try and see a glimpse of him. Walking down this like forever aisle, like I got like nervous but like calm at the same time because like I'm about to meet like the love of my life. All right, we're gonna watch one more because they didn't meet yet, so uh, yeah. That was weird. I was just weird. I'm about to meet the love of my life for the first time ever. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh my god. I'm right here. Oh my god. That's pretty neat, bro. That's pretty neat. Uh, you, you see, you see your, your, your future husband. At least supposed to, and you're like, oh my god, yeah, I'm not happy to see you. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, I can't. 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 I just not thought about this. Did she just leave her child with, like, her parents or something to take care of her? Because, like, you know, why not take your child or something? I mean, get your meeting, your future husband, but wouldn't you want your child to also meet him? Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Are you tired? I think you're tired. I'm tired and I'm yeah, hungry. I know you're tired. I'm gonna drop okay. my bag. It's okay, let's go. I think we should go. The first time I saw Nicole, I saw that she's pretty and, you know, and cute. Okay, I'm really happy that finally. I know, oh my yeah. gosh. When I see all, all her, I mean, all her body, I was surprised that, that she's big a little bit. Wait, wait. Um. Okay, wait, what? D did she never, like, I, did she only, like, send him his face or her face or something? Like, I don't know, full body shot or something? Like, wouldn't she, like, kind of do that? Like, to be like, oh, this is how big I am and stuff like that. You know, like, wouldn't you do that? I, I, I don't know. To be honest, I, I've never dated anyone or anything like that, so I have no clue. But shouldn't you, shouldn't you, like, at least know what they look like, you know, besides, like, just their face? Alright, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I'm probably gonna do another video on this, because this is pretty weird, to be honest. Uh, it, it's interesting, at least. And these people that are so far away came together. Who knows? Unless, I don't know how it was going to go. But I guess we're going to find out uh, next time on Total Drama Island.